Hi friends. So I'm here to set up a travel journal or like a travel planner journal combo, as you can see from the title for Go Wild. And I don't know if you guys have been following the Go Wild updates and that kind of thing. If you're not in the Go Wild group, you may not be. However, the Go Wild conference has been postponed, but I still wanted to share this with you during the month of April because I thought it would be a lot of fun. I also wanted to thank today's video sponsor, Wondershare Filmora. And now now here are a few words about their amazing editing software so you guys can check that out every time you check out a sponsor it helps this channel as well as helps that amazing business that I wanted to share with you all so go ahead and check them out and without further ado here's a little bit about Filmora hey friends so it is editing Caitlin coming to you and sharing a little bit more about one of my favorite Wondershare products so this is actually something that I use to edit my videos so if any of you out there are content creators or you like to make videos for other media or if you like to post videos on Instagram or stories and edit them that way Wondershare Filmora is a great great resource Filmora 9 is the super easy to use and a tailor-made video editor for beginners so it actually is really cool because I am not super <laughs> super savvy with video editing. I'm pretty basic, but Filmora 9 makes it possible for me to get everything done that I need to in a really user-friendly interface. So Filmora 9 supports video recorder, picture-in-picture, -picture, and audio fine-tune. All you need is totally included in Filmora 9, which is fantastic. There's lots of really cool effects also that I just wanted to share with you. So a couple of them are the endless pop video effects, various transitions, and pop popular filters on Filmora make the video better and they make it pop. So it's really cool and you can kind of see that there are places where you can go here to get your transitions and your effects and we'll go there in a little bit. But I just wanted to talk to you first. So one of my favorite things to do when I'm using Filmora is to add effects. And I like to do this when I'm making my Instagram stories, but I also have been kind of playing around with it for YouTube videos. So they actually have a partner company called Film Stocks that I also wanted to share with you. So really quick before I show you how I add those film stocks into my video or the effects into my video, I want to share with you the Film Stocks website. So they partner with Filmora. This is another Wondershare product. So there are lots of different effects packs that you can get. So depending on what kind of video or Instagram story you're trying to make or even IGTV or if you post videos elsewhere, you can get tons and tons of different things, whether it's holiday related or whether it's, you know, if you're making like a, you know, a holiday video or a vacation video, there's birthday things. There's so many different things that you can download and integrate into your video. So let me show you one of my favorite, favorite things. Oh, look, you guys, they even have social media icons. So we've all seen where, you know, you click to subscribe and that kind of thing on videos. They have that in here, which is super cool. That'll be probably the next one that I download to put into my videos. But anyways, let me share with you something that Filmora actually sent over to me, which is fantastic. This is their glitter glamour pack for film effects. So if I am trying to put these film effects, so I would just go to the effects tab here and we can kind of navigate. So I'll start in the media tab. This is where all of your media and your video will live. And then I'll navigate over to the effects tab. So you can get an overlay, like check this out, you guys, this is gonna look so pretty. So you can see that it glitterized the side of my video, which is super cool. What other options do we have? We can get this glitter pack. So that's a little bit of a lighter color. Let's check this one out. Oh, I really like how that frames in the video. That's super pretty. These all totally remind me of Go Wild, which you guys know is about what this video is all about. So it's very glittery and pretty. Oh, I love that with the chunky glitter on there. Oh, I'm obsessed. 
I love that. So that's just one of the effects that you can do on there. You can also do kind of your standard video editing things. So for example, you can use your tools down here and you can undo things, you can cut things, you can clip things, you can adjust the volume, you can add like picture in picture, you can add photos in there. Like you can see here, I've added an end card onto my video. You can do split screen effects. You can add titles. So if you want to add text across your screen, again, this is just such an amazing product. And if you pair it with the film stocks, it's, it's just too good to, to pass up. So thank you so much again to Wondershare for partnering with me on today's video. I will have all of their information as well as a coupon code linked in the description box below. So make sure you check out Filmora. If you have used Filmora in the past, I know some of you have told me that you love Wondershare and their products and that you have used the Filmora to edit your videos, but if anyone else has used it, feel free to let me know that down in the comments below. Now let's go ahead and set this gorgeous planner up. Well, it's going to be like a planner journal combo. So I have a lot of the stay wild things and I also have some wrong, wrong things, but we will get to that. So I still don't know hundred percent which month the conference is going to be in. They have said fall. So I'm going to right now assume that it's going to be happening in September because that feels like, I don't know, that feels like a time when they would have it before the holidays, that kind of thing. So I'm guessing that it will be in September if I have to kind of take a guess, but that's what we're going to be setting this up for because there will be a monthly part. So let's go ahead and start setting this up. So the first thing that I want to do though, is I'm going to take this gorgeous cover from this happy notes and I'm going to put it on metal discs and I have decided to go with rose gold because how pretty. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we will get everything into this planner. Put your body on the kitchen table and move the dishes to the side. Uh, yeah. Girl, you always tend to drive me crazy. Looking at me with those eyes. Uh, put some music on, turn the lights down low, throw the pillows off. Okay guys, so now we have these gorgeous discs on here. And now what I wanna put in this planner is a planning section. So I want everything pre go wild to go in here. So this is the Wrong Wrong DeVoe Babe Support Babes the cover, which I really like. So I'm actually gonna put this in here because yeah, we're gonna be using it for 2020 and I'll be able to have a space for my name and it definitely has the go wild vibe. Love that so much. Okay, and then we're gonna put in two months. So we're gonna put in August, plan on it girl, and September, find joy in the journey. So I'll change the months out if it ends up being different, if go wild ends up being on different months. But right now, that's kind of what we're looking at and what I am assuming, because I'm assuming that they would want to plan the conference for prior to the holidays so that people wouldn't have to necessarily either A, miss a holiday or B, kind of have to make that choice. So I know the Go Wild team and they make some amazing, amazing, amazing plans for all of us. So I'm not going to set anything in stone right now. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to put these in here. I'm not going to do any gluing or taping because again, we're not 100% sure when it's happening, but I will update probably over on Instagram as I know more. What I'm thinking as far as go wild is I am going to use those notes for, or let's see, I'm going to use the notes tabs at least. I do want to use different paper with that animal print on it, which is super fun for just for the conference. Cause I really, I really want as much animal print. I'm going full on Carol Baskin <laughs> with this planner. No, not really, but I want I just want all the animal print in here because I think it's going to be so fun for Go Wild. It just reminds me of Go Wild and now it reminds me of Carol Baskin. Let me know down in the comments below if you've watched Tiger King. <laughs> oh, that show. I'm kind of hoping for a season two. 
honestly, because I kind of need to know what else happens. This is going to be kind of a simple setup at this point because that's just kind of what this planner is about right now. It's like a simple place where I can keep notes throughout the conference. Let's go ahead and put some fill paper in here. Okay, so I'm going to put about half of this Stay Wild paper in one section. And then I'm going to put the other half in the third section. So what I'm doing with these sections is the first one is going to be notes for day one of the conference because there will be three full days. And then the second section will be notes and memory keeping from day two. And then the third section, this is hard to do with my long grown out quarantine nails. Oh, you guys, I promise my dip powder kit is coming. <laughs> my nails will be fixed soon, hopefully. Actually, I feel like I'm gonna put a few more sheets in here because I feel like I'll have the most stuff to write down on days one and two. And I might update this as we get closer to the conference and add more like memory keeping pages that I make. I really just wanted to get it kind of set up and show you guys kind of how I would do a travel journal. So I'm alternating this because I also have some other animal print paper that I wanted to put in here. So and I don't want the same paper twice in a row. So and then I have some dividers that I wanted to use also. Oh and some goal sheets. That's right. Next maybe I'll just put all of these or all of this paper in here because really there's not like a planner other than those two months that I put in the front in this travel journal notebook. So what I'm gonna do, and so I didn't show you that part, let me go back. I feel like I'm kinda all over the place this morning. With the planning pages, what I'm gonna do is I am going to use the monthly to kinda plan out things that I need to do, and then the horizontal is gonna be like journaling space. So this will be journaling kinda leading up to it, and then this will be journaling space during the conference. That's how I'm gonna use the planning portion. So the last section that I wanted to add is something really fun that I used to do when I was a kid with like my, I don't know, my yearbooks and that kind of thing. This might be kind of silly, but I don't know. And I don't even know if I'm actually gonna use it, but, but we'll see. I wanted to use this really special paper and you guys will see why it's special. And it is this pink foil and it's leopard print. So I thought it would be perfect as kind of a special section to have have my friends sign my planner. <laughs> Is that weird? Let me know that down in the comments below. But I thought it would be really fun to have a place where I could collect signatures of people that I either meet or like they could write notes and just kind of a memory keeping space and then I could keep this planner forever and ever and ever with all of these fun notes in here from Go Wild and all of the things. So that is that part and then I have one last thing that I wanted to add and it is going to be let's see so there's this page I'm gonna add like a goals section for go wild I'm not sure like what my goals are right now let me know if you guys are going to go wild and you have any goals that you are planning to try to achieve while you are there so number one is gonna be have amazing pajamas and fun <laughs> So let's go ahead and just recap everything that is in this planner. And then, yeah, so thank you again to Wondershare Filmora for sponsoring today's video. That is amazing, and I love working with Wondershare. I've also worked with Wondershare on other projects, so I'll link all of my Wondershare videos down below so you can check out all of their amazing products. So I have a goal sheet in here. And then I have some pre-planning space for getting ready for Go Wild. And then I have three tabs for note taking because there are three days of the conference. So day one, day two, day three. And then I also have a space where I'm going to get my friends, my friends to sign my planner. And I am using this gorgeous, gorgeous go wild, well not go wild, wild styled happy notes to do all of this. So Again, let me know what you think down in the comments below. If you love this, if you think that I went a little too Carol Baskin, let me know down in the comments below. But I love it. I love this setup. And stay tuned for more updates on this gorgeous, gorgeous, wild styled 
happy planner, I guess, go wild notebook. So thanks again for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. If you are one of my current followers, thank you so much for all of your love and support. And if you want to find me on other social platforms, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. You can also find me over on Patreon as well as on um, the podcast Spiced Chaos with Leanne Spicer, where we post twice a week. And thank you again for all that you do for me. You guys are amazing. Here's your internet hug for the day. And by the way, you guys have fun today.